Let's say you placed a clock on the table, and now you place a glass of water in front of it. What will you see when you look through this glass of water? Most of us would just presume we would see the same image of the clock, maybe a little bit blurry, but it should just be going straight through the glass of water. It is like looking through a window after all. But what ends up happening is we see this mirrored image of the clock, a reflected version of what is happening behind the glass of water. So where the 2, 3 and 4 used to be in the corner here has now reflected over and mirrored itself as well. And you'll notice that there is this sort of stretching effect that's happening as well, while other areas are compressed. This phenomenon is known as light refraction, which involves a bit of calculus, trigonometry and physics. Basically, when light passes through air from the clock to the surface of the glass. As it enters and goes through the glass, it will slow down due to the density of the glass being higher than air. And so it changes angles and ends up passing through much closer to this dashed line over here compared to the blue line coming in. This dashed line represents the normal line of the glass surface. And if you looked at my previous video on calculus, you'll know that a normal line is basically just a line that is right angles to the surface of anything. And the angle the light is coming in at is known as the angle of incidence, while the light coming out from there is known as the angle of refraction. Something similar will happen when the light is passing through the glass and entering the water. But you'll notice that the line is a little bit different here. So the angle of incidence is much smaller when going through glass compared to the angle of refraction coming out into water, simply because water is less dense than glass. So the light ends up passing through a little bit quicker, and so it has a much wider angle from the normal line. And this process basically goes in reverse when the light is exiting the water in the glass and coming back out the air onto the other side where we can see it. So I made a program called light refraction using JavaScript on P5 to illustrate this phenomenon. So if this is the glass and you're looking at it from above and this is the table, then this object here represents the clock, for example, and these lines are representing light passing through the glass at accurate angles. And like I said before, I had to put a lot of maths into this. I'm not going to go into the details of it, but basically there's a lot of trigonometry involved with actually calculating these angles and using something known as Snell's law, which is a physics concept for calculating the correct angles of refraction. So if we were to move this object around, you can actually see that the object below, based on the color coding, not only reflects itself, but it also stretches. You can actually play around with this on your own to see how light can refract differently or how it can change and stretch the image differently based on where you place this object. There's a little bit of restrictions to how you how much you can do with this just because I couldn't quite get it to work when it went to the um, the right the left hand side of this. But it sort of gives you the idea of what's happening here. Anyway, you can see that it is still stretching regardless. Somehow the math just works, even though the light is doing all kinds of weird stuff in here. So yeah, the links in the description below. Feel free to play around with this. I've made it interactable so that you can just stretch it around. I would recommend using a computer to move these objects just because it's a bit hard to use your fingers on a smartphone for this. You can even change the size of the glass if you want or the thickness of it to see how light can refract differently depending on different object sizes. But again, the program doesn't quite work the way I want it to when you make it too thick. So you can play around with it, but it just may not make much sense because the light shouldn't be reflecting like this. So if you ever wondered how light refraction works and how it looks when light passes through objects, check this program out for yourself and move around the object and see. In fact, every time you refresh it, you'll get a different object shape as well and different light colors to play around with. So I hope you guys found this educational and enlightening. If you did, then please like the video so that YouTube can recommend this to other people. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. If you want to join the channel, you can click the subscribe button and ring the bell to get notified about the next video. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Have a good one, and I'll see you next time.